Hi guys, Pankaj here. So today we are going to explore Trailhead, the learning platform for Salesforce before we start learning Salesforce. Okay. I could have skipped this video and you would have eventually explored Trailhead on your own, but that would have, that would take your learning time. So to prevent that, I will be explaining the things that you should be aware of Trailhead when you start learning Salesforce. Other than that, you could explore on your own. The, and the thing that is visible on your screen is a Trailhead account. It's my Trailhead account, but I will show you how do you create your Trailhead account. Though it's a simple process, but I will show you anyhow. So let's begin that. So to start your registration on Trailhead, just type Trailhead registration on your web browser and click on the first link that you see. And here you will have the option to sign up. Just click there. Now you will have various option and from here on the process is very pre like pretty simple. So you could do. Don't worry about you don't need to type that on browser. I will be sharing the direct link to you. Okay. So since that part is clear. So now let's go to our main obje objective to learn few things, things about Trailhead, like basically to explore various things about Trailhead so that you could prevent that time from wasting. Okay. So, so with that, let's move to the Trailhead. On Trailhead, learning is divided into three units, basically trails, modules, and then units. Basically, trails contains modules and module contains units. Basically, when you complete unit, you get points. And when you complete modules, you get badges. It's good to collect points and modules that help you in landing a job and you could add that on your resume okay since it's clear now let me show you how you could like how the trails modules and units looks like on trailhead okay let's type let's search some like some trails okay let me search the admin trail that should be your first step when you start learning salesforce okay admin trail for beginners hope it's visible available with that name let me okay like as you can see other people have created their own trail even you could create that trail i left that part for you to explore let me go where is that i guess it, let me check click this one visible here okay not this one yeah this one i was looking for don't worry i will be sending the link for that as well like as you can see this is a trail and it has various modules like salesforce platform basic data module and all and with each like the these are units and these units give you points and these trails gives you badges okay about badges we will talk about at the end of the session now this is out of way now let's talk about some other things let's talk about projects basically projects are hands-on for your hands-on experience they come with instructions so you could follow step by step and learn and like apply the things that you learn okay so to go to that go to learn and you can see there is a projects option click on that projects and you have various filters and all to like select the project for the for, for the thing that you learn okay now after project we also have super badges like this is the super badges and th there is a difference between the super badge and and your project projects comes with hand, with instructions but these super badges doesn't have any steps or instruction to follow you just have to follow you just have to apply your learnings it's they are more like more of a real life scenario based questions to solve okay so these are on various roles you are targeting suppose you are targeting salesforce admin admin you go to this if you are targeting for the developer role you click in it and you go, get to see the e modules or basically super badges you are looking for okay now that out of the way now since these are things now let's talk about trailhead playground and developer role which you will be using to apply your learnings okay so to go to that just go to this icon on your profile and go to hands on all There is a limitation of number of playground you could create is 10 like as you can see the maximum limit is 10 as I have already created in once that's over you could create your dev org for that I will also be showing you okay now as you can see it's just a simple process just create playground and it will create in less than or about five minutes okay now when you click connect org basically the dev org that you are created okay let me show you how you create your dev org and then we talk about this connect org how this works basically you need to type just developer org and create the and click the first link to create your org basically you provide all these information and create click on sign me up okay after you click on sign me up you will get a verification mail after clicking it you need to just create your password and uh, give answer to a security question that's all and your org will be created 
if you face any problem with this you could drop a comment on that and you don't need to type again i will be providing a link for this as well okay let's move to the trailhead and let me show you how we connect okay once you create your org just create click on this connect org and you will land on a page where you need to just provide your username and password and you could link your org directly okay now that's out of the way let's talk about the ranks which were remaining that i told you that i will be telling you at the end of the video basically these are the ranks that you get as you like create complete badges and units on salesforce or basically trailhead okay when you begin you are a scout then you are a hiker and then explorer adventurer mountaineer and expeditioner and ranger i would suggest you to since if you are looking for a job in salesforce field and you are new at least at least get a badge till ranger because that you could add on in your resume and it also looks good okay and there's no further rank in range beyond that though i personally feel they should add further ranks okay that's all from my side for the today and we will be start we will start learning salesforce in the next video okay so till then goodbye